In times of war, ordinary citizens are often called on to act in extraordinary ways. In some cases, even horses are summoned to carry more than their own weight. Like many young girls growing up, Debbie McCain dreamed of owning a horse. The horse of her dreams, however, was real, racing halfway around the world at the outset of war on the Korean Peninsula, the place where her father was stationed with the Marine Corps. I first heard about Reckless from my father as a small child, and I always had a love of horses from when I was very little, and when he came back, from Korea, he told me about this horse that was in Korea and what she was used for. The terrain in Korea at that time was very hilly and jeeps and vehicles could not get to the Marines wherever they were fighting and they needed some method to transport ammunition, medical supplies and retrieve uh, wounded Marines. Purchased for $250, Reckless, named for the unit she was attached, the 75 millimeter recoilless Reckless rifle platoon of the 5th Marines, quickly adapted to life on the front lines. Reckless started off as a Mongolian racehorse in Seoul, Korea. To look at her, you would think that she was just this little common sorrel mare but she had major insight into the job that she had to perform. She had to learn to carry large amounts of ammunition. She had to get used to shelling and bombs, bullets, uh, large noises, heavy equipment around her, chaos and being able to stay quiet and calm with all this going on. Sometimes at night, the Marines kept her in their tent with them and if they had incoming fire into the camp area, they'd all put their flak jackets on her to protect her because she was so valuable. It got to be just second nature to her to go into a combat situation and deliver the ammunition and take Marines back with her. And she did this first with the Marine and then she got so good at it that they would just point her basically in that direction and she would find the Marines on her own. During one of the most intense and violent battles of the war, a three-day operation for the outposts Vegas and Reno, Reckless made 51 trips in just one day while under constant fire to deliver critical ammunition to the gunpoints. The Marines were taking a tremendous amount of, of firepower at them as well as sending it. And this was not just during the day, this was at night too, so she had to be able to travel to various points because the Marines were moving in different locations, so she had to be able to adapt to different locations and situations and different amounts of fire, fire and Reckless handled this tremendously, almost better than some Marines did. She didn't let all the chaos and the noise and the firing affect her. She had a job to do and she did it. Reckless not only helped her comrades in arms seize valuable land with her courage and conviction in battle, she also captured the hearts of her fellow Marines. Not only did she carry the ammunition, this was a little bit of home for these Marines. They could associate the horse with home and they could touch her and pet her and get close to her. And this was a big emotional well-being for the Marines themselves. Wounded in combat, Reckless received a Purple Heart. She also received an honor befitting the bravery she demonstrated on the battlefield, the rank of sergeant. Rank in the military is earned. The Marine Corps doesn't give it to you. So for her to be given this rank, it meant that she was one of their own. And this was very sacred to this group of Marines and all Marines, especially of the 1st Marine Division because she's their mascot. When they got permission to bring her back, aboard ship. She stayed in the hull of the ship with the Marines and they all took care of her. And the ship landed in San Francisco. And she disembarked up there to a big parade and a big fanfare and a welcoming committee. And uh, they had a big ceremony up there in San Francisco. Reckless was sent to Camp Pendleton in Oceanside, California, where she proudly continued to serve the Marine Corps and made a child's dream reality. When I found out that Reckless was here, she was a war hero. 
but she was a horse war hero. So when I came down to see her for the first time in 1956, uh, is when I first met her. And then from then on, I was down here every weekend. And all the children that came down at that time would always bring her carrots or apples or they'd give her part of a sandwich or whatever, but you always came to see Reckless. She spent the rest of her life basically here at the stables. And she, was, she went to all the change of commands. She went to promotions. She went to special events. Anything to do with the 1st Marine Division, she was present for. And she had her blanket on and she was escorted by her handlers in uniform. Um, and it was very honored to have Reckless there to be a part of whatever ceremony this was. One of her first foals was named Dauntless, then Fearless, and then she had Chesty. And Chesty was named after Chesty Puller a general in the Marine Corps. They all stayed here at the stables. They grew up, they became trail horses, guide horses, and they're all buried here at the stables. She had two other foals. One died and one uh, was presented to her handler that brought her back from uh, Korea. In 1968, Reckless died shortly after stumbling onto a barbed wire fence. But her efforts on behalf of her fellow Marines was felt throughout the 1st Division and beyond for years to come. Putting an animal in a human capacity that went over and above board with all the lives that she saved by taking the ammunition, the medical supplies, you can't count the lives that she saved, but it means that a father, a son, or a brother came back to a family that if she may not have been there to do this, may not have come back. Some children may not have been born, their fathers may have been killed if it hadn't been for reckless. So all of us that are children of that era, era that had fathers in Korea, that she may have had something to do with, are very blessed to have had that little horse do what she did. Reckless not only inspired an entire division of Marines with her heroics, but she drew Debbie McCain back to Camp Pendleton, where she now works at the base stable preserving the memory of the horse that played such an important role in her life. 